grateful I am uh, for the, uh, the hospitality and the support that she showed me and my family. It's been 10 years uh, since the Iowa caucuses and uh, that, that long night in January of 2012. And uh, uh, all I can say is that uh, uh, I wanted to come back uh, because I want to make sure that, uh, just like Bobby indicated, that Iowa stays number one. Different finger. Uh, but, You know, that's, that's what you do. That's how I see Iowa. And that's why I invested all that time and energy back in 2012 in Iowa, because I knew that you folks are not afraid to lead. You're not afraid to stand up and be countercultural. You're not afraid to not pick the, the favorite horse. You're, you're, you look at things, you understand things, you, you research it, you do the work, and then, you have the courage to act. That's how I see Iowa. And right now, Iowa needs to be Iowa. Iowa, this legislature needs to, to lead. Like it has on so many other things this, this session. has been amazing. The accomplishments this, this session has had. But it needs to lead on one more thing. And I'm excited that we can see this huge crowd. But I'm excited
say first, and I didn't say thank you for what you did for me in 2012 and give me that robust 34 I'm someone who knows personally about voter integrity. Every vote counts, right? Every vote should count, and every every vote that's that's a proper vote should count, right? And, that, and so I, I know that for sure. someone speaking here at Convention of the States that back in 2012, I was not a supporter of Convention of the States. When it first came out, I had some serious questions about it. I talked to a lot of people, some of whom are opposing it uh, you know, in the, in the country, and, and they told me of their concerns, and I, and I thought, well, maybe those are very legitimate concerns. And candidly, I didn't really think much about it until actually earlier this year. And uh, I, Mark, actually, I was at uh, one of those hunting trips he talked about, and he he talked with me about it, and I said, okay, I'm going to do my homework, just like you folks do. I'm going to do my homework, and I'm going to see whether this is really the right thing, because I can tell you this, a lot of things have changed in 10 years. That this country and the federal government, as bad as it was when I campaigned here 10 years ago, it is far beyond what I think any of us would have expected to happen this winter. And candidly, my big concern is that it's happening on both sides with both parties. And what I saw, particularly in the last 10, like I said, 10 years, with now the concentration of power in the executive, the Congress becomes so dysfunctional, they can't do anything. And so as a result, both sides, when their president gets in, they ask the president to use all of his executive authority, real and non, not real, to do things unilaterally. That is a dangerous thing that's happening in this country. More and more executive orders, more and more rulemaking, more and more standing up to the Congress and the courts, all that power, and, and we are panicked because, look, I know all of you, like me, are concerned about what's happening in this country. And so if we ever get a Republican back in, we want him to do all these things, pass all these things, get, get all these executive orders to change everything. You can't have a country that's flipping back and forth by a, a king moving the country back and forth every time he comes into office. That doesn't work. It's bad for the country, and it takes our freedom away. So here's what, here's why I decided to step forward and look at this thing seriously. And here's what I found: this is a constitutional process. Our founders put this in Article Five of the Constitution for a moment just like now. Part of the country. 
And again, I'm okay if New York and California want to do that, but don't impose it on Iowa.
And so for your legislators who are stepping up and then leading and sponsoring, you need to make sure that you're, you're there for them. And you need to go out and communicate this message. I really believe this. I think George Mason put in Article 5's Convention of the States as a safety valve, as the last chance for a republic to survive. Because they knew there were three things when it came to freedom. One was winning freedom, and that's what the revolution was about, to win freedom. Second was to establish freedom, and that was hard. And we did the most amazing job in the history of the world. We established it with our Constitution. And we created the greatest republic in human history. But they knew that the third thing was the hardest thing to do. And that is to maintain freedom. Time always gets you. We all know that as people, right? <laughs> we all know time gets you. It has the same effect, a corrosive effect on our bodies, and the corrosive effect on the body politic in America. And it has eroded. Our founders knew this time would come. They didn't know when, but they knew it would come. And they provided us this mechanism as a fountain of youth, re-engaging you, the public, the grassroots of the state legislatures across this country to come together and revive this dying republic. Iowa, it's your turn. Lead. God bless you.